flight king, take a trip One day blue, on the hybrid, robin' smoking haze We throw shade on sunny days, so come on, hop to it Tonight, in the Palisade, in the palace, we're talking about Star, bitch. Star is back, bitch. Star is back. It's been a long time coming, but tonight was a fucking night. Shout out to Lee Daniels, another black, how you doings, like myself, you know. And the show's back on. So it comes on, bitch, and we had a mother. It's a, it's a sickening dance sequence. They got the dancers lined up, a sickening eight count. I don't know if Fatima did it, bitch. I don't know if Debbie Allen, they brought Debbie Allen back. Because for this episode, bitch, they brought so many people back, bitch. It was so many names. Lee Daniel called everybody in the Rolodex to get him on the motherfucking script, bitch. Are you, what you doing, bitch? I got a role for you. You can play the bartender, bitch. You can serve up Jack Daniels all night, bitch. You want to come through? And they came to fuck through. So it starts off, bitch, and they at the motherfucking strip club, bitch. And bitches is on the pole. They got the sequence of uh, clear stiletto heels on, bitch. They doing the motherfucking thing. Then the bitch come on. Bitch, she got her curly weaving. I said, okay, bitch, come on, bitch. She got her curly. It was curls everywhere, bitch. I don't know if she was. She looked a little mixed. So I don't know if she was born with it. Or may, maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's a curly weave. We don't know. Now, I was rolling with the hoe until the bitch started talking about, got my own money. I'm independent. <laughs> Hold on, bitch. Who told you strippers and hoes that putting your ass up, putting your titty up, and putting your coochie up so niggas could reach in their wallet out the ATM to throw you some money made you independent? What the fuck we not going to do is preach to little girls that being a stripper and being a hoe and putting your ass up. Now, if you do it, that's fine. That's what you do. You handle your business. That's cool. But what you not going to do is tell my daughter and my little sister that if you swing around on the pole and put your ass up for niggas to throw money, that make you independent. Absolutely fucking not, bitch. Get the forward and we're at Carlotta's hair salon that got burnt down last season. And now they're trying to clean it up. She's going through a lot right now. You know, the, the fire department's after her. The grand marshal's after her. They're charging her with um, arson. And, of course, a girl died, so now it's a homicide. So she's going through a lot. And it's interesting because, you know, Queen Latifah recently lost her mother. So to see her in a somber role is interesting because, you know, my condolences definitely go out to Queen Latifah for, you know, losing her mother recently. And, you know, God bless you, uh, Queen Latifah. You know, I definitely love you and always been inspired by your career. But anyways, they're at Carlotta's shop and the question of the day is where the fuck is cotton did she die in that bathtub did the nigga really drown her next thing you know she come out like loud ta -da, watch out now it's the transgender but it's not bow wow so carlotta come out so carlotta daughter cotton come out just like this she came out just looking just like this like this cotton right here that's how she came out the shop so it's like, oh my God. So Carlotta's like, are you still with that fugitive? Because, you know, it's going to be a problem of yeah. She like, no. So she walk in. Carlotta walk in the shop. She see Miss Bruce. Miss Bruce is all disheveled. She got her hair half. She got her bob half wrapped up. She got one earring on. She giving Janet Rhythm Nation. Looked like a key was hanging. She was just looking like... I'm, I'm going to be honest. Miss Bruce was looking like last season. It's the new season, but she still looked like she's been in there since last season. They, they, it's like they made Miss Lawrence stay there until they filmed the new season because that's how she looked. So anyways, they was talking about how they're going to build the shop back together and Carlotta's optimistic. You know, we got to get the girls back together. We got to get the single together. We got to get everything back together. Next thing you know, here comes Christina. Carlotta mama and she got on this German shepherd wrapped around her neck and next to her is fucking Cassie mind you uh, Christina was play is played by Patti LaBelle and Cassie is played by Brandy Brandy always gotta have a fucking braid they gave her a rap like Erica Badu this bitch said uh uh I gotta have a braid song so this bitch made the hair and makeup braid a fucking braid up out the motherfucking um Erica Badu rap so she can have something to say. They in there using all the urban underground Paris is burning lingo. Oh, this place is burned down boots and what's the tea? I'm like, well, God damn, the urban gays can't have shit, but it's written by Lee Daniels. What the fuck you expect? So Carlotta is like, what the fuck? Who even called these hoes up here? Patty, shouldn't you be somewhere over the rainbow or something? Love and need. Nobody love and need and want you, baby. Anyway, so they in there. And 
Carlotta's like, well, who the fuck called these hoes? So then that's when Cotton come back <laughs> like this. So then Carlotta's sitting down with her mama and her sister, Christina and Cassie. And she figures out that they only concerned with the shop so she can run another scam. The mom could, so, so Carlotta can run another scam for Christina to get another hundred thousand dollars. Cause she tells her, bitch, don't act like I ain't ran no motherfucking welfare checks and no food stamp fraud like Big Frida. Oop. Um, on your ass. That's the only reason why you up in here anyway. And she gives Cassie a nasty read and she go about her business. In the meanwhile, Alex is outside with Noah. Every, all the fans is, is hype. All the fans is hype. And they like, oh, Alex and Noah, Alex and Noah. So the other two girls walk in the shop to meet with the uh, A&R for Midtown. Because they told Carlotta that they was going to get their song pumping on the radio. Now, in the meantime, Alex has a conversation with Gigi and tells Gigi. And Gigi ends up telling her, like, yo, girl, if you come to my pop-up shop, I'm going to put me a y'all new single and I'm going to put up links. And that way, that'll get y'all spins on the radio. So they talking to the a &R, The a &R not trying to hear it until Alex walk in. And she like, look, I just talked to Gigi. And we finna get the shit popping at the pop-up shop. And you're going to pop up our single on the fucking radio, bitch. And that's what the fuck you're going to do. So he was like, hey, y'all make that happen, then maybe we could make something happen. So I was like, okay, they, they, they might get on the radio. we we'll see what will happen. we we'll see what will oh, happen. They pop up at the fucking pop-up shop with Gigi, and Alex is going over the song on her headphones. She like, hold on. Bitch, I heard this before. Did this bitch steal somebody else's hook and throw it on her own hook and did the sample and then want us to sing it? So Alex like, I ain't singing this shit. Star like, what the fuck is your problem? So she bar so Alex barging in the room with Gigi. Gigi on the couch got a whole nother wig. Before she had this Korean China vibe. And then now she got this blonde a ramen noodle oodles and noodle cur a wig going on i don't know what the fuck is up with these wigs on fucking star but lord fucking jesus like i know some people that do wigs if you need some wigs lee daniel the original big daddy call me big daddy because we can get you a better wig than what the fuck is going on and it's crazy because carlotta wigs burnt in the fire and i said thank god somebody had to burn see Y'all think the shit burned down and it was a homicide and an arsenal? No, the shit burned down because somebody had to burn down the wigs that they got Queen Latifah in each season. So Alex pull up on motherfucking Gigi and she like, what the fuck, bitch? You totally pulled a Beyonce and stole the song and told him it was yours. So she like, well, what the fuck? That's what everybody in the industry do. You two up fucking Noah's ass to realize that, bitch, I'm trying to help you. I'm doing you a favor. You ain't doing me a favor. And start tell Alex, like, exactly, bitch, so let's go. So meanwhile, Noah there, too. Whole time, we figure out that Noah been fucking Star and Alex at the same time. He been fucking around with Star. He been fucking around with Alex. Alex is portraying, perpetrating the Star like, oh, I don't even fuck with the nigga. This is just for all the publicity that we were getting. But the whole time when Alex went to talk to her boyfriend, her boyfriend, you out here fucking this nigga and your whole, your boyfriend, a whole paraplegic out here. He should have ran, he should have wheelchaired your ass over for fucking with a nigga while I'm paralyzed. What type of bullshit is this? So they in there arguing and next thing you know, um, no in there pulling the Dar Darnell Jones where he want to be. So he decided, fuck it. Since I'm pulling the Darnell Jones where I want to be, don't know where, where I want to be with this bitch, with this bitch. Let me sing where I want to be. So he serenaded us with an old uh, Darnell Jones from back in the day. Y'all had Darnell Jones CD where I want to be. That was, my, that was my shit. Think about, think about it. Yeah. Just think about it. And you know... So baby, tell me what's up. Can we ascend the higher heights of when the path is up? Oh, bitch, you remember that. Rest in peace, the left eye. So anyways, so after that, we go back to Carlotta. She back at the shop with her mama Christina and her sister. And they trying to figure out like, well, why did Christina come down here? Like, why did Cotton, why Cotton bought her, asked for her grandma to come down here? So the whole the whole episode, cotton got on cotton like this with these turtlenecks. She coming out giving turtlenecks up to here. It's turtlenecks all. I don't know if she was trying to cut up an Adam's apple 
Or, you know, she was trying to hide something. Maybe she nigga, nigga was sucking on her neck. You know, they say you put a spoon for hickeys. But I don't know what the fuck the bitch problem was. So, Christina was like, well, pull the shit down. She pulled the shit down. And we seen from last season, she still rules when that nigga choked her down to the bathtub and was trying to Whitney Houston her down in the bathtub. Rest in peace, Whitney. So, next thing you know, Carlotta's like, well, what the fuck you didn't tell me? You didn't want me to protect you. You didn't think I could protect you. And Cotton's like... Well, I didn't want you to. I, I kind of wanted um, my, my grandma and, and my auntie to protect me because they still down with that hood, body, body, ratchet lifestyle. So, of course, Carlotta upset and her and her daughter is supposed to be um, having a better relationship. So, she feels like this has tarnished their relationship. So, she's upset. So, we go back to the girls a star. They out at... Um, so we, we go back to the group. So we got Star Alex and they out there, they painted on the wall, rest in peace, Karen. And next thing you know, they hear their song on the radio. So they get lit and they popping and they jumping and everything was good. And um, that's what happened. So not too much happened on this episode. I'm glad that Cotton came out like, Lamb, tell <laughs> I love me some of Maya Scott. I love me some Patty the Bell, Queen Latifah. I love the cast. I love fucking Luke James' fine chocolate ass. He don't need to be singing Donnell Jones. I'm Donnell, Donnell should call for copyright. Donnell, Donnell, whoever owned that royalty for where I want to be, only Donnell can see that. We let Mariah get away with it with her little single with YG huh? and all that, but... Because that's Mariah and she's just, you know, the god of divas. But other than that, like, Luke James, don't be singing no Donnell Joyce's. Sing some other shit. Sing some Chris Brown forever or some shit, bitch, next time. But anyways, I'm excited about this season. The season looks good. I've seen the trailer. Um, So make sure you guys tune in. Fox, Night, and we got uh, Star, and then we got Empire. The shows are starting to come back on. So make sure you tune in. So thank you all for joining the king once again in his palace. And I will see you guys next time. The Fly King.